A lot of you don't know how good you've got it. Growing up in a world where there's always been the internet at your fingertips, the information superhighway, right at your fingers. Because if you've got any questions, you can just look up the answers. It never used to be the case. I was just started thinking about it there because 15 minutes ago it popped in at my head, just randomly. I wonder who invented trousers. So I looked it up and I was thinking, it must have been after Jesus. Because nobody in the Bible had trousers, did they? But it turns out it was 10 to 13,000 years BC and they found them in a Chinese cemetery when they exhumed a body. Forget about 501s, these trousers lasted their 10,000 years. And, and, and you go down the rabbit hole, a trouser leg, of things like that, and it's just within seconds, you've got a timeline uh, for, for creation, all the way up to modern day. Bullet points, bell bottoms, flares, dungarees, the full gambit. If I was a Wayne, right? When I was a Wayne, you didn't have the internet right at your fingertips. That didn't come into we were like 14, 15 year old. And even then, you had to make sure your mod didn't want to go on the phone. You had to listen to this thing load up for 15 minutes going, Eer! and then you could get on a really slow version of the internet. But now you just go like your phone, whap, bing, bing, who invented trousers? Where did trousers come from? And then you know all about trousers. That's incredible. We take that for granted. But of course you do. Because you've always grew up with it. You've always, it's always been there on your timeline of reality. So understand it. Kind of like trousers. We shouldn't take trousers for granted either. There must have been a point in time where somebody invented them. And he was walking about his village. And people were just looking at him going, in whatever dialect they spoke in back then. What are you doing, John? What are they? And then John's like, in whatever dialect he spoke in, he's going, do you like them? They're called trousers. My legs are pure boiling, man. And everybody would be like, ah, what? He's a pair of them. There'd been a point in time where that was the height of technology. Trousers. I'd be like taking a PlayStation 5 and going back to the 70s when the Atari come, came out and ho showing somebody a PlayStation 5. They'd have been greeting and all that, unable to breathe, just with, with the, the, the beauty of this technological advance, far beyond their comprehension. There was a point in time when trousers would have been like that. People would have been standing there going, what man, trousers? What? Can't I believe this is a real thing, man? We're all going to have trousers. It blows my mind even further that this was 10,000 years, maybe more, prior to the existence of Jesus Christ. The birth of Jesus Christ. That means that there's a possibility at some point in time JC was cut about a pair of slacks on. Mind boggling. When we were younger, you, you, you like, you just, if that popped into your head, your day was ruined. You, you couldn't, you couldn't function. You were just like, where did trousers come from? And it would just stay in your head all day because you would never get the answer. But you go, you go to a library like some mad geek. Like you're in an 80s American movie and like, You've got a pile of books at either side of you. You've got, out, like, manuscripts and that. Some old woman called Beatrice keeps bringing you her as a bundles of books. I think this is a book about trousers and the, the early fucking 14th century and that. Oh, cheers, Beatrice, then. And you're just pure, like... I think he's got to do that. You know what I mean? That's not going to be a thing. You just weren't going to know. So let's not take the internet or trousers for granted. I'm really baked right now, man. <laughs>